Oh hi, guess who's back on an actual vlog camera instead of just on my phone. Um, feels nice, I feel like I'm doing a proper vlog. I have been uploading a few of our little mini vlogs I just film on my phone. Um, I think I've got a couple left of those, need to finish those. <laughs> like it'll be time for another holiday by the time I actually ever get those up. Um, but I'm filming on a proper camera. I'm in a really lovely mood today for like quite a lot of reasons that I'm going to tell you about. Um, if ever you need a good mood song, I just put it on to like just G myself up to start the video. It's I Am Woman by Helen Reddy. Um, and it's Reddy spelled, I think, R, yeah, this one, Helen Reddy, R E D D Y. There she is. Um, and I always recommend this to people who are going through a breakup and I hadn't listened to it for a while and then I listened to it I was like oh this is not just a breakup song this is like it's like I, I can't do it because I've got copyright but and also I don't want to sing to you because I don't you know want you know that'd be horrific for you um but yeah listen to that song after this video listen to that song and you'll be like yes it feels so good um right lots to tell you about at the start of this video then I'm going to take you around my day a little bit, a little like day in the life. Uh, and also this is part of my brand sponsorship with Sky, Sky Glass. There she is. So I'll be telling you a little bit about that as well. That's the agenda. Let's crack on with the video. Transition. <laughs> Brilliant. What a great intro to a video. So it's my birthday week this week. I am going to be turning around 30 ish and then some do you know what's so funny i remember turning 30 like it was yesterday and i remember thinking oh my god i'm so old people are gonna think i'm so old i'm not gonna tell people i'm 30 now i wish i was telling people i was turning 30 um but i'm i'm actually turning 37 <laughs> which feels like a really significant age to me 37 um was how old my mum was when she left us um and I actually now, instead of being like, oh my god, I'm turning 30 and so on, I feel like it's a privilege to age. Like, my mum didn't get the privilege to get to 38. And um, I'm I'm really changing my mindset in so many ways this year. Spring helps because, obviously, it's like lighter days and I just start to feel a bit more alive in the spring, like a plant. I'm like, ah, yes. Um, but something I wanted to talk about in this video, but I've gone deep really quickly, <laughs> Uh, was I feel better you know how I was like oh I'm not feeling great I don't know that I feel like a thousand percent yet but I definitely feel so much closer to that than I did at the beginning of the year or certainly last year and I think a lot of it is just a slight attitude uh, a slight attitude shift so I thought I would just share some of those things with you and you might already be like that's so obvious I already know that in which case amazing but if you don't maybe they'll be <clears throat> of some sort of use for you. So the first thing, aging, I often hear my friends and me saying, oh, you know, I'm getting so old, I'm so old, I'm so old. And we see that as such a negative, like I, I do as well. I mean, for goodness sake, I have Botox in my forehead. Um, so I'm definitely not some sort of ambassador for like, ooh, aging's great. But aging's a privilege, isn't it? It's one that wasn't afforded to my mum. She never got to 38. So turning 37, good lucky me i'm aging what a blessing it is to be alive and to have another whip around the sun to enjoy my family and friends and doing the things i love so that's the first thing i'm thinking about this birthday week um and talking of this like i just thought oh god that goes so seamlessly into my next point um spending time with people and readjusting how i spend time slightly um has really helped and i think that a lot of the way I was spending my time was driven by guilt and shame and pressure. Um, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm talking so much because I've got so much that I just want to be like, ah, here's all the things. So, you know this, have you heard of like hustle culture? Like good things come to those who hustle and early bird catches the worm and like those things are true. And the whole hustle culture is about like if you work really 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 hard amazing things are going to happen for you and whilst that is true because if you work really 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 hard at something the chances are higher that you will achieve the thing than someone that didn't work really really hard at it other things can happen too and i found 
that you can work really, 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 really hard and pour yourself into something and give it all of yourself. And then you have none of yourself left for other things that are important, like spending time with family, spending time with friends, or just spending time with yourself, like doing the things that you enjoy. So an example of this is I really enjoy <laughs> bedazzling and beading. I really enjoy little crafty projects. And when I am pouring all of myself into work projects, I don't do those things. And those things make me happy. So I'm doing all this stuff to achieve. And yes, I might be achieving a work goal or uh, I might be feeling like I'm working really, really hard, but I'm also missing out on happiness. Like quite obvious when you think about it if you put too much into something you're taking out something else so I've been readjusting how I feel and not feeling guilty about it or at least trying not to feel guilty about it and that's the hard part pause for breath because I, feel like I was waiting to turn my camera on for a couple of hours this morning and I was like you know when you see a friend and you're like oh my god <laughs> so much to tell you basically what I've just done so I'm just gonna let's take a little bit of my sweet sweet nectar here type of thing not spawned by Nike. Something I saw recently on Instagram was a mummy blogger, vlogger, Instagrammer, whatever you want to call them, and she had gone out for lunch with her friends on a school day, on a work day, and she was like, oh, this is what I've chosen to do. This is just what I've chosen to do. Like, I'm not telling you what to do, just I've chosen to do this. And she was so firm in it, but I felt really empowered because I often use phrases like, I shouldn't feel guilty for taking a rest. I shouldn't feel bad for watching a film. I shouldn't, or we shouldn't, or you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel bad about doing that. But it's all like, that's such a concept, isn't it? Like you shouldn't, you don't need to, we don't have to. But she just didn't. She was like, I just don't. And I was like, oh, that I could do that too. I could just say that too. So uh, this week, for my birthday week, I'm just taking some time to do the things I really enjoy doing. I'm still ticking off my to-do list and I'm still like mumming. I haven't just been like, sorry guys, mum's on strike, I mean, it's my birthday week, I'm not doing anything. But I'm just taking time to do things that I enjoy to do. And today I'm going to take you on some of those things. Um, I'm going to go for a lovely lunch with Liam because his shift pattern is quite good this week, it's working late. Um, and I'm just going to enjoy doing it. Um, another thing, this is like a seamless transition to tell you a little bit about Sky. Another thing I enjoy doing is watching my TV. It's in my bedroom, it's so nice. So I just literally sit in my soft office here, excuse all that mess over there, wah, 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 and there it is. Trying not to get that bit with my mess, messy laundry. <laughs> oh God, the vlog's going really well. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Sky Glass now. I'm actually gonna go really close to it. Whenever I talk about this on here or on, um, Instagram I always stand like really far away so you can see it like that and that's a nice shot but I'm gonna give you like a little close-up of it. So this is my sky glass and this is the thickness of it. It is pretty slim, just sits flush to the wall, it's got no wires or anything either, no like switches or newfangled things. If you did need to switch it off, I have never had to use this button. There is an off button here, but I have Literally the whole time I've had this, and I've had this a good few months now, not had to use those buttons. <laughs> but there they are, if you're interested in like the tech of things. So this is the only TV with Sky inside. So it doesn't have like a Sky box, like I used to have my TV, and then I would have the Sky box like on a bracket behind it. But this, there would be no space to put that because this is sitting really close to the wall, which is nice. There's no wires or anything like that, and it just streams everything so it streams all the sky things hang on let me get my remote it was literally in my bed which i think says a lot about my viewing i just sit there just so relaxed i'm like mm, yeah it's so nice so firstly i feel like this is important i know it's only surface level but look it matches and i like that and i also appreciate that it matches my room look ha ha yes thank you very much right on with the actual stuff i need to tell you here <laughs> if you still want to do tv guide you just can, like, hang on. That's like what it used to be like on my TV. So if I still want like the traditional, that's still available, which I like, because um, I'm an old soul and I do like to have like comfort and familiarity as well. Um, hang on, let me get you the app. So you can just play all of these just through the TV, which is very good. Um, my kids stuff there. Um, I hope this is giving you like a bit of a feel for what it's like. I've been starting to watch this. Sorry, I've jumped, haven't I? 
Um, has anyone watched this? I quite like it. Um, I've been enjoying that a lot. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Some techie stuff is that Sky Glass is a 4K UHD TV. Um, it comes in five colours, three different sizes. I've obviously gone for <laughs> the pink one. Uh, they've got a really nice green one actually, which is lovely, which I would have gone for downstairs, but pink just had to happen. If you're into sound technology, it has six powerful speakers built in for Dolby Atmos sound. Um, I don't, I'm not into the super tech, I just enjoy things that work well and look nice. Uh, but I am assuming, and if I'm wrong, feel free to tell me, that they are in here, <laughs> in this bit, uh, but it sounds great to me. Like I said, I don't, I don't know like the ins and outs of like Texas, so I won't even try and like tell you that I do. Um, but I do know that I enjoy how it sounds, like I enjoy the experience of just watching the TV. I'm just a TV watcher, not like a full TV understander. Um, but I'm gonna show you something that I really like. I'm just gonna get into my soft office, it's no point wandering around everywhere. Oh my God. So you can imagine me sat here at night time uh, or during the day this week because I'm gonna not feel guilty about doing nice things for myself during the day. This is a cool thing, so. I'm gonna put the remote down. So let's say I can't find my remote. So you're just gonna to have to trust that I'm not holding the remote in this hand when I show you what I'm about to do. Look, I'm holding the camera in this hand and I've got my hand here so you know I'm not holding a remote. Hello Sky, find Downton. How clever is that? It's just voice controlled. And then also if you want to turn it off but you can't find your remote or you're just a bit lazy. Hello Sky, good night. Wait for it. How clever is that? Like if you just want something that's nice to use, faff free, easy, high good quality, I really would recommend Sky Glass. We've been using it now for a good few months. Quiet laptop. Uh, we've been using it a good few months. We really enjoy it. The children can also use it really easily as well, which is great because it means I don't have to keep getting up to be like, how is how you do it? Here's how you do it, um, which I really appreciate. And you can let me just read this so I get it exactly right because I don't want to give you the wrong information. Checked it. It's available to buy through monthly instalments. So a bit like when you get a phone and you like add it onto your bill, the cost of the TV will just be added in instalments onto your sky bill so if you're interested i'm going to put a link and some information for you below uh if you were thinking oh it's time to like upgrade or time to switch things up or maybe you're moving house or redecorating a room or like want to change things up i really truly would recommend sky glass i've been working with them for two or three years now i wouldn't continue working with a company that i didn't think made lovely products so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little segment the little tech segment basically uh, I feel like I'm, you know, what's that program that was on years ago? God, I'm really showing my 37 years. Is it Tomorrow's World, where they showed, like, clever tech and did, like, segments? It's basically, that's basically me. I've gotten into my soft office now, uh, but I need to get out of it because Liam is getting back from the gym shortly, and we're going to go out and have a really nice, like, early lunch, late brunch. We're going to go to a place called Beckworth Emporium, which is in the countryside. The weather is chef's kiss beautiful so i feel like i might do a little musical montage coming up um and i'm gonna go and have i feel like something with brie in it i'm in a brie mood so let's go and enjoy that thank you for listening to all my like emotion chat earlier as well really appreciate it <laughs> my god farm shop vibes will we have time for a little shop in here afterwards a quick one a quick one just gonna try and show you around without too many people in except obviously liam but coming over here it's like garden center vibes but kind of like botanical cafe vibes as well if they mix would you say if you mix a greenhouse with a garden center with a cafe yeah that's this yeah, it feels al fresco. Feels al fresco. Things arrived. I've got the brie, I've got brie and cranberry panini. Liam, show what you've got because yours looks amazing. Peri peri chicken wrap. Look at me modelling it so beautifully. Whoops, oh. sorry, sorry.
don't know if you've seen this brand before, or Cook. It's not um, exclusive to this place. I've seen it in lots of places, and it's online. Their ready meals are so nice. They taste really good. They are a bit more expensive. This is £30. It says eight. I'm going to put this in the freezer. But they are so, so, so good. Like the best um, like pre-made meals I have ever had. I've had a lot of meals, so it's quite an endorsement right there. What are you going to go for, babe? I've ordered a slice of pecan pie. What are you going to go for? There's one left because Darcy's having the brownie. It all looks too good. Too much to choose from. The deliciousness just keeps going. Oh my gosh. Now we've got into like fresh bread. If this is a cheese straw, stop it. Stop it right now. That looks delicious. And then just a whole bed of strawberries. Oh. So I've had some time on my laptop and doing a bit of planning and whatnot put the world's brightest lipstick on. It's almost coming up as neon in this camera. And I want to say it's not this bright in real life, but it is, it's MAC Candy Yum Yum, if you're interested. Um, I'm going to go and pick the girls up from school and nursery now, and we're gonna go to dance. And I want to try and film a little bit of that because honestly, it's like such a happy part of my week going there with them. Um, but obviously it's a little bit tricky to film because I don't wanna get other children in. Um, yard yard all that sort of stuff so i'll see what i can do if it looks a bit like choppy and weird angles it's because i'm just being mindful school run time this is the book that pearly has picked from the library i don't know if you've read this book but it's literally revolting so i'm looking forward to reading that later tonight so we're having oh do you want me to cut it up for you uh, yes please yes please we're having dinner here tonight and he's having just some fish fingers, which is her like all time favourite. So we've got a really nice little cafe here. Um, we need some chips. And I, it's a bit random. I'm having a fried egg roll cheese in it. I just really fancied it. So there you are, another reason to love it here. Nice food. Okay, back in the car from Top Hat. Do you want to say your good news? Oh, we've got Ayana. This is mini Esther. This is Aww. Esther's gorgeous daughter. <laughs> we've got Pearly all wrapped up. She's in a blanket on top of the seatbelt. What's your good news, Darcy? Um, you which look one? Like a baby. Um, about your part in the Play? show. Show. Um, I got the main part. Yeah, well, one of the main parts. you yeah. got the main part. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm very happy. You look. You seem very happy. I'm glad you are. Um. It was lovely and now we're going to head home we're going to take mini esther i might call you that from now on mini esther yeah, mini esther because you know when me and your mummy are together we're besties now it's like you two <laughs> the next generation can you hear that it's like picking up they're upstairs all playing i was just sit, sat here can't talk sat here doing um some admin on my laptop and i could just hear them all like screaming and thumping around that sounds terrible but, like giggling like enjoying themselves i was just like this is nice, I've got a house, you know when people are like, I've got a house full of love and laughter and it sounds so like twee and cringe but that's what I've got and I'm like having some feels, I'm gonna, gonna get a freaking vinyl sticker on my wall in a minute that says like love, live, laugh, love and I'm gonna feel no shame for it, I'm gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna be that person with pride. Is everything, is, are you okay? Yeah. They're fine. Live, laugh, love. Look at these gorgeous girls. Getting their homework done, being so good. Hello, missus. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, yeah. I wish I'd got that on camera. Oh, she's still going. Here is my beloved. Here to fetch your mini beloved. This is Esther at her finest. And what you'll note here, she doesn't know what I'm about to say is, she's actually wearing a full sort of gym jam lounge set, but with quite nice boots. <laughs> A lovely handbag, a ruby bracelet, and very nice manicured nails. <laughs> and you've slung this on like this is the look, and I'm here for it. It's not a look for anyone. It's just I quite. Think, I think it's sensational. This is my house look. I feel I feel complimented that you'd wear your house look to my house. Oh gosh, yeah, you look as would I. Today. <laughs> I've kept my bra on, but got my gym. Do. We've both got our house looks on, haven't we? Perhaps we should get some house coats. <gasps> Should we start calling our dressing gown house coats? Housewear, house coats, yes. Yeah. We could do, wouldn't we? I don't know why you'd wear house coats. How glorious. No, it's a, it's a dressing gown, but you call it a house coat. Oh, right, I think that might mm. be a bit much. I've got to go to boots after this. In your pajamas? Yeah. Love it. Nobody knows me. <laughs> right. 
Esther and Ayana have gone home and it is bedtime. It's time to get sorted. Look at all that. Need to put away. Oh, little girls running around. Time for bed. This baby eats a worm, a wriggly worm tugged out of the lawn. That's not our baby's supper. Yuck. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. I like how red his eyes are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's for supper? This baby slurps a rotten egg. A rotten egg, all stinky and smelly. That's not <laughs> our baby's supper. When are you going to get sick? Mm. When are you going to get sick? Did, are you just waiting for me to feel sick? Yeah. <laughs> I already feel sick. It's bleh, that is disgusting. <laughs> What's for supper? A baby gobbles up a spider. A spider with a, bleh, a bleh, hairy legs. That's not our baby's supper. <laughs> Don't even want to show you pictures too much. I wish you'd stop bringing this book home. What's for supper? This baby swallows a raw fish. <laughs> the first time I read this, I actually gagged. Like, that's what you want me to do, isn't it? <laughs> a raw fish. Head, tails, fish. A crystal. You want to show your crystal? I was about to turn off the camera. Yeah, I want to show the crystal. Beautiful, some sparkly things. That's really nice. Well done. Pearl has just settled um, into bed, and so now I've got this gorgeous one. <laughs> Who's got, oh, just got the giggles, haven't you? It's got the giggles. And we're all cozied up like birds in a nest, and we are going to watch. <gasps> oh, hello! We're not going to watch the cat. Now, I promise you that, you that Darcy has picked London Abbey, not me. I don't know why, but I just like it. <laughs> I like the old and back. Fashion stuff. Oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it, Mother? Yeah. Do you even know what that means? <laughs> yeah. It means like it's a phrase you say to mean that like children are a lot like their parents. So I like the old-fashioned stuff, and maybe that's why you do, because I'm the tree and you're the apple, but you've not fallen <laughs> far away from me. <laughs> so silly. It does. Enough. It really does. Right. Well, <laughs> shall we have our evening then? Do you want to put the TV on then? Yeah. Mr. Bates. I'm so interested to see the hospital. Are you alright there, Orbit? Your late husband, a doctor. You took took nicely. My father. Do you want to come out? He's like, no, I don't. Put it back on me. I like to be cosy. My little cosy baby. Hmm? Okay, it is 20 past nine. I have suddenly been hit. I'm like trying to suppress a yawn. Oh, sorry. I have suddenly just been hit by a wave of tired. And I don't think I have anything left to say really on the day. Like I've enjoyed just having a bit of chats, taking you along on just like a really gentle day. And it's been nice to not feel guilty for not filling the day with loads of things or like there's been times where I've daily vlog and thought oh, I've got to do more to show them more but sometimes I do just like do a little nice thing and do some mum stuff and do some laptop stuff that's kind of it really so I hope you enjoyed this like slice of reality of a day um I will leave some links below for sky glass as well some information on that but I'm going to take my makeup off I'm going to use this I'm almost finished and I love this stuff, Lizelle Cleanse and Polish. I've been using that for about, well since Darcy was born and she's 11, not this tube obviously. Um, I've done lots of repurchases over the years. Um, I'm going to do that and um, just go downstairs and watch a bit of TV and wait for Liam to come home from work. Uh, Alright, thanks so much, leave a friendly comment and I hope you enjoyed this, bit of a home, slice of home. Alright, love you, I'm going to start waffling. Bye!